want you to hear this. Hey, I'm Brigzar, and just like Batman, I've made mistakes. What does he do after that? Does he, like, hit something? I can't remember. All right, so I want to thank everybody for the comments on the, the last video because everybody's been pointing out some things, and I really like it because it's bringing out some things that I didn't pay attention, close enough attention to. So we're going to go over a couple of things from this really creepy kid set. Uh, it's not creepy. It's just this weird Duplo set and also from the London bus that I didn't notice. So uh, I'll try to remember to put the comments of the people that um, notice these things. But let's get right to it. When I f What I should do sometimes is really analyze what I'm about to talk about before I talk about it. Uh, but in my videos, normally what I do is I just build it and then I say the first thing that comes to my head, which, yes, shockingly, sometimes is wrong. So having this anthropomorph anthropomorphic, why do I say that word if I can't say it? The uh, card that looks like a human, you know, it's got a face and eyes, or mouth and eyes. You know, so I'm seeing this car and it's on this track. All right, so, you know, I'm just thinking about this being a car. And then you got this drawbridge. So I'm thinking, okay, that's a bridge, so this is a river, it shows a river. I said, and I'm looking at this most of, for most of the video, except when I actually attach, attach this piece, I was seeing it like this, so I said, okay, this is an anthropomorphic boat. But it's not! <laughs> it is definitely a mammal, okay? It's a mammal as well. So, so... I, that's a whale, and I and then I was thinking, well, why is the what is the whale doing in the river? Okay, there is like a river, and then it was pointed out to me that <laughs> in the Thames River, a beluga whale got in there. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just not your typical scene that you would see, but that is a whale, and yeah, so that's a whale. What do you say? That's right. All right, so that was the first thing, the first glaring mistake. And one thing I, uh, I neglected, I guess I should pay attention to the instructions. This shows you how to replace the batteries. The only thing I, I, I don't think it will change, I mean, because I think those are just the, uh, the batteries are the test batteries. It says it included the batteries included for testing sound function. I don't think it'll change by change, uh, if I put uh, charge batteries, it might sound better might be louder i don't know but th this is very important before you can do this you must eliminate the child so i didn't do that either we didn't eliminate the child so i think it's appropriate then that this is the london bus since there was a well in the thames river that london buses when they go across the bridges over the thames river you know <laughs> actually they don't these buses don't exist anymore i don't think maybe in a museum uh, uh, but anyway, now we're going to look at the bus. <laughs> and this was also pointed to me, pointed out to me. Okay, you, there's a general rule of thumb that you should always build your sets for yourself. <laughs> because if you don't, um, you don't have anybody, you, you can't, you, well... <laughs> You should build them for yourself because there's a very good chance that somebody else might build it wrong. But at least if you built it yourself and it's wrong, you can blame yourself. But So I appreciate people that have noticed um, that this thing is not built correctly. <laughs> and I think it all has to do with the placement of this window here. They actually put the... There's a 2 by 3 window... It should actually be over this way and in here, and these should be slid back. So I think that's the only major issue um, with that. Is So it's not built correctly here. So this, this, this window should actually come to here. And another thing, these... I, <laughs> it is an annoyance, these tires... Because if you look at them, they're not flat. 
and it is it's actually not entirely easy to do with these vintage tires and once you've done it the wrong way it's hard to get them to go back on the right way but i'm going to see if i can make them flat is it that look a little better so what i usually do is if they've been put on the wrong way and they've been sitting there where they've gotten kind of angled i usually turn them back around the other way wait a minute which was i can't remember which way it was now so i guess yeah i need to go the other way so you want to try to get it where it's smooth and flat but it's so man that thing's all out of whack because they do get this kind of um you see how it's not seated on there correctly? So I appreciate Drew noticing that. And so like I said, I usually just turn the tire around and try to close. It's just a matter of getting it in there all the way in. And I've had, I do I do it all the time when I put the tires on. I get it wrong, but there. That looks a little better. But that's not the only problem with this bus. That sticker is technically technically in the wrong place but the problem is that sticker's bigger than all right there's actually okay this is all messed up all right so you see this sticker that sticker that sticker right there should be right here this is the sticker that goes beside that so yeah <laughs> and there may actually be a missing sticker i'm thinking that's what it is i think there's because i'm thinking this sticker would either go here oh you know what i think this sticker would go over where the door the the step is so this sticker should be here this sticker am i even showing it where you can see it this sticker should be there this no okay. let me do it right. yeah this sticker goes here that sticker that sticker goes there so it's built wrong <laughs> it's not only built wrong the stickers are, are in the wrong i just took the whole thing apart maybe yeah i'm gonna fix this oh whoops and this thing is not up to modern building standards and, and even doing all this there's a very likely chance that it's still not built correctly this thing is falling apart too much too easy Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Where does this go? This goes here. Now let's try it. I want you to hear this. Oh, this is not working. The glorious sound. Uh-oh. The microphone falls. A vintage Lego. Lego doesn't sound like that today. All right, so there was one comment about the uh, gas station and shouldn't it have the red paint. I will say that the standalone model of the SO service station did come with the red paint on the uh, side. When I say the red paint, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, is, is these plates here, they actually are painted on one side on the... Uh, the model that comes as a standalone model but some of these town plan sets it did not and the instructions actually the instructions showed it like this with the plain white plates uh, but that was a good observation did anybody catch that the, there was a phone booth there i think bill and ted uh, 
they didn't have a circle K, so it's, you know, they're at the SO station. All right. So, anyway, thanks to everybody that noticed those things. I don't know if anybody noticed the stickers. I just, when Drew mentioned that about the windows not being in the right place, and I probably technically should rebuild the whole thing just to make sure that it indeed was built correctly. But, like I said in the previous video, I'd have to remove all the stickers. And now, it's these old stickers, it is such a pain. But I need to put the smaller sticker there. Well, I might get the, and it's going to look bad. Once I go to take it off, it's going to look bad. So this set is not as, as awesome as I thought, but it's still the pieces are immaculate. I mean, these are really clean pieces. All right, so in summary, this video is to tell you, this is a well, not a boat. The bus was built incorrectly. We've mostly fixed it. A well was in the Thames River, and... This cannot be done with children. You must eliminate them. So we will see you in the next video, Spriggsar.